I got my mojo working. Hi, I'm Red, and I'm here today courtesy of True Fire, uh, taking a look at the song, I've Got My Mojo Working. A great song, um, very popular um, at blues jams, and um, one that, you know, you will often run into various versions. You know, everybody seems to have their own version of it. Um, usually, I think you're going to find it either in the key of A or D G, but I have run into it in several different keys, and um, you will also find m several different rhythm feels. I've chosen a more traditional feel, um, closer to the original, which is you know like a root third bass line over a, a train beat um, drum feel. Again, we're in the key of A. And it's a one, four, five. So we've got three chords, A, D, and E. I'm going to use a variety of different chords, but they're all going to be, you know, A, D, and E, basically. Um, I'm going to roll the track. I'm going to demonstrate a few things uh, rhythm-wise. Then I'll talk a little bit about it. And then I'll roll the track again and demonstrate some lead stuff and talk about that, too. So here we go. I'm doing this major minor hammer on things. So, what I was doing there was that minor major hammer over the one chord. Um, see what I'm doing there? I'm just hammering from this. I'm bringing my second finger down, hammering down on the third string at the sixth fret. That brings us from minor to major. Very common thing that you'll hear in country styles especially. Now you can do that over the four as well as the five. Okay, for the four and the five, I was mostly using these chords. They're really nice seventh chords, and they are dependent on a bass player because we've dropped the root note from them. But they originate off of a C shape chord, you know, if we take, or a C seven shape. If you take a C seven, move it up, You've got a D7. Well, all I'm doing now is I'm removing the bottom note, the root. I'm taking that note off. Now I'm going to add on the first string at the fifth fret. But I have to change the positioning of my fingers. So here's how I end up doing it. I think you can see where my fingers end up. And if you know a C7 shape, you'll be able to find this. I also, I, I believe I, I've got this particular chord in the chord chart, so that should help you. Cool thing about these chords here is you can also break them apart very easily if you look at um, groups, string groups of two. Um, so, you know, first string, second string, or second string, third string, or third string, fourth string. And you can do some cool rhythmic stuff. You get the idea. And I'm not going to get real deep into that on this tune. Um, but I did on some other tunes. Uh, I think on Feel So Bad, I probably went a little bit deeper onto that, that um, style. 
Anyway, same applies to the five. Now, another thing I was doing in the rhythm over the one, I, you know, I was doing that um, minor major um, hammer. Now I'm using a D7 shape. It's an A7, but I'm using a D7 shape to make it. And, you know, there's a pretty good look at what I'm doing. So you should be able to figure that one out without too much trouble. Okay, the other thing about the rhythm was that I used that line at the end of the progression. One more time starting on an A on the fourth string and then just walking down. Okay? You wouldn't have to necessarily use that. You could just go. You know, you just hammer the, the five chord instead. I kind of like doing that little walk down, so I did it. Okay, now as far as lead, I'm going to play mostly major pentatonic major notes. Um, I'm going to think melodically in a major frame. Um, I'll use the minor tones more as spice. Um, more, you know, like the difference between playing blues or country. Blues a little more minor, country a little more major, for the most part. So anyway, here's, here's a, you know, I'll run through the I'll run through the track once and do some, some lead stuff and then talk a little bit about some of the stuff I've done. And here we go. I'm going to use the BB King box, really. <laughs> I doing in there? I'm playing major pentatonic. Right in that little BB King box. Okay, that's where I'm building my licks. Right in that area. I'm walking down. Now I did a little minor thing there, but you notice I kind of Almost, I bent almost from the minor third to the major third. They're kind of implying that that's where I'm heading. And there it is. Um, once I'm down here, then I'm, I'm starting to think more about a few minor pentatonic licks in there with, or minor pentatonic notes mixed in with the major pentatonic. But... Um, You know, I'm all major right there. I use it. I use that lick. It's a major lick. It's not minor. Um, then when it went to the four, I use this lick here. And I'm showing you real carefully where I'm playing this. So you can pick it up. So we're going from the from the A, we're going to the D, 
and I use this lick. Now I'm back to the one. But for the four, I use that lick. It's just a very cool lick that, you know, really emphasizes it. I could have, you know, come up here, done something very di similar. Um, or I could have, you know, I, I mean, there's so, were so many options. I'm just showing you some options. Over the four, you know, if you want to, if you want to follow the chord change, you know, you can do that. Or you could maybe end up on a, you know, hit a D note which is the four, and then, you know, build off of a, a, a D triad. See, I went from D back to A, following the change. That's all, you know, that's a D triad, so that all those notes match up very well with the D chord. When, when we go back to the A, I've outlined an A chord, and so that helps to make, you know, helps to make it, you, you know, you can feel and hear the chord changes in the solo, aside from what's happening rhythm-wise. So anyway, um, you know, you've got some cool options. I, I would say stay may, more major pentatonic. Uh, more, use more major tones um, and keep it more melodic rather than um, jazzy or bluesy. And, you know, I think that's the key to the tune. It's a great tune and one you should have in your uh, repertoire, uh, especially if you're heading out to the jam sessions. So again, I'm Red, here courtesy of True Fire, and um, I will see you again soon with another song.